Hello and welcome to day three of A Day in the Shop. Um, thank you very much everyone for uh, well following me along, commenting on my videos and all of that. Today I start an, an experiment. I do want to build something and I've got this on my mind and this will be a camera mount and the camera mount should be uh, well no have no footprint at all so it will be mounted to the ceiling my ceiling here is just two meters high and you can see I can reach it without stepping on something okay so with that said I'll show you what I've got as this one will be uh, not only a low budget, but a no budget, at least for me, a no budget uh, project. And uh, I'll show you what I've got and I'll uh, also explain what I've got on my mind in detail. Uh, this will be in the next video and up to then. Uh, I'm very happy to have you along with me here in my shop, helping me to do the things I do and really your comments really help me a lot for uh, cheering me up and this is something I really 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 appreciate okay so have a great Monday and uh, I'll see you on the next video Okay, to start with, we've got the ceiling over here, very low, as I said, and I need at least three points here in the shop. One point, well, mainly for the table saw, which should be somewhere around here. Uh, second point, somewhere around here for the, for the workbench and the, the saw router table. And the third one, which is the most important one, is the one here on top of my lathe. Okay, so I want to have the camera being able to move on a footprint, which goes, well, so actually the camera should be as close as this to the... Uh, to the uh, headstock but also being able to move away in order to get as well footages of the sharpening system or the drill press well I can move this but nevertheless okay so the first thing we have to think about is how to get a mount a crane to the ceiling and I guess the solution for me is, well, this is the ceiling. Now, you, I just go ahead and screw two of these uh, these pine things here to the to the ceiling, and onto that one. There will be a board. Well, okay. And then the whole mount for the for the camera mount should look something like so. Oh, well. To draw fast. Okay, so I can push this onto this board here. It will hold, and in a way, well, you get a runner and a kicker upside down, and uh, in a way, it will stay stable, no matter what forces are on there. Because when, when you've got the arm going like so, you get a lot of force going this way. And this will be covered by the, the kicker here and the runner here. Okay, I guess that's the point. 
uh, that's how to start with. Thanks, Wayne, for your suggestion. Well, I, it, on the ideal, uh, it would be okay to have one stud in the middle. So let's go into physics. Assume the point where the weight is on to the center point here is just A, and from the, this point, the center point where it is mounted to the outer side of the um, of this mounting thingy here, going onto the ceiling is a half A. This means the 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 force on here will be two times the weight on here. So now. As you know, the ceilings we've got are far from leveled. Well, at least mine. Okay, so what happens? Actually, you don't get in contact with the ceiling here, so there is no force going up like here uh, will be covered. So it's it will actually tries to bend this way. So we get the distance A here, but this distance from the center point here to the outer point of this uh, mounting thingy here is, well, let's assume a tenth of this. So the weight or the force up here is ten times the weight on here. And this makes me anxious about using just one. Because when I use two, it doesn't matter whether this is bended or not, uh, I end up with this direction here, which is, well, let's go half or, well, a half. So, just assume this is half. So, this will be not ten times the weight, but just two times the weight and the force is going well on this point here the force is going this direction aren't that crucial thank you very much for being with me well actually i didn't well made my goal today but nevertheless i shot some got some footage for the build video and I got a couple of suggestions uh, for the mount. Well, what I did today was I made these mounting pieces to be mounted onto the ceiling and these boards, which actually go onto like so. Okay, now there's a little homework for us. And this is the actual thing which will go onto here and well looking from the front it should be like this okay this will slide onto like so and there's a bolt in the center pretty wide and this here will be well kind of piece like this uh, pivoting on a bolt. So these two have to be able to move slightly, a little, to the to the center. So I want to screw them on here, glue and screw them on these points. So I might end up with a force keeping this into position, this piece. From the side it should look something what what I've got on my mind something like this okay if you've got a better suggestion because this one here is able to rotate now this one this piece here is able to rotate because this bolt isn't tightened it's just a slip okay if you got any suggestions help me along and I'm glad to incorporate that in tomorrow's uh, well a day in the shop so thank you very much for sticking along with me and uh, well my back says goodbye for today and see you tomorrow <laughs>